UK. So it's going to be another video attached to it, but that's where it goes when you work it in your office. So this is simplifying a fraction, a very basic one. There are more complicated ones in this particular exam, but this one you have to break it up. Um, so you don't have to factorise, you just literally have to break it up into different parts. So I'm going to do 10 divided by 2, which is 5. I'm going to do 8 to the power of 7 divided by 8 to the power of 3. You take away the power, so that's 8 to the power of 4. And then you're going to do b to the power of 4 divided by b, which is b to the power of 1, which gives you b to the power of 3. So it's 5, a to the power of 4, b cubed. And it's nice and easy when you break it up like that. Okay, so these are the laws of indices. There's a few different ones. Anything to the power of zero is one. Minus power is code for one over. And then you just work out the base as if it was the normal part, so five squared. A fractional power is linking to a square root. If it has a power on, if it has a number on top of the fraction, then I would have to square it or something like that, but it was just a simple square root. So the power of third, for example, is the cube root. And then this one, it's simplifying a basic fraction and you just break it up into sections and work each section out. Okay, this one, there's a few ways to do it. Um, I'm tempted to show you the algebra way, but I think I'll just do it the numerical way. Um, the algebra way, you'd factorise this. One of these would be one of your factors and you would cancel it off. You'd cancel them off and it would leave you with this side here in algebraic terms and then you can put four into it. The other way is this way. Um, the area is actually the length times the width. We have one of the lengths or the widths, doesn't matter which one it is, it's just these two multiplied together. We've got one of them and we know that this multiplied by something will give us this. So what I'm going to do is substitute 4 into these. So 2 times 4 take away 3 is going to be 8 take away 3, which is 5. So this width is 5. This length here, which we don't know yet, is multiplied by 5 to give us this big thing here. So if I put 4 into that, I'll get that as a number as well. So 10 times 4 squared take away 4 take away 21, that'll give us the area, so that's just do it in stages, so let's just do the 4 squared, so 4 squared is 16, and 10 times 16 is 160, um, 160 take away 4 is 156, take away 21, do the 1, so it's 155, that becomes 135. So the area is 135. So 5 times by something that we don't know equals 135. So to find that missing thing, no, we'll have to go on the 5. I'm going to divide by 5. So the thing we don't know is 135 divided by 5. I'm just going to go for the bus stop method. 5 is into 1, none. 5 into 13 is 2. I get to 10, remainder 3. 5 into 35 is 7. So the missing side that I was after is actually 27. And that's a new question to us. We've not seen it like that. You could do it the algebraic way, like I said, where you factorise it. And then when you factorise this area, this will be one of the brackets that you can cancel off. And it will leave you what this was in algebraic terms. And you put the 4 in there.